Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Lindsay and today after much, much debating I decided to go ahead and do a quick little rabbitry tour. I threw around the idea of doing this or not basically because things are going to change after I make this video but it would be nice to see how things look before and then how things look after. So we are going to go out and we are going to do a quick little tour of all the rabbits that are in my care currently, their names, their setups now, um, and then I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an insight onto what my plan is. Obviously plans change. They have changed over 30 times <laughs> this month alone. So without further ado, let's get into it. I definitely need to get like one of those tripods that I can just like put my camera on and like it can hold it because my arm is gonna like die. Of course, none of my tripods are where I need them. Oh, there's one. <laughs> it was for my phone. Now it's gonna be for you. You spin me round, round, baby, my <laughs> Ah, much better. Now I can hold you and like adjust you. Yeah, that's okay. We're moving right along. First step is the garage. <laughs> on remodeling the house okay I hear you judging me we can't even pull my vehicle in I know I know we're working on it we're getting there it's a work in progress everything in my life is a work in progress this is the um I almost said sanitation room <laughs> this is the quarantine area currently we just have one rabbit in quarantine technically we have two but I made the mistake of putting him in the shed already so now I can't move anyone in for another like two to three weeks so that sucks um the reason why we quarantine um is because we don't know what the rabbits the new rabbits we bring in here might have from where they came from or what they have picked up from like shows from other rabbits they might not have it themselves but they could be carriers um and usually after a car ride it stresses them out enough that anything that they may have that is a serious concern will end up showing itself within the first couple of weeks of them being here the stress definitely causes different issues to show up so we like to keep them for at least two to three weeks, I try and do a month, but if sometimes I'm lacking on space, I just move them on out if it's been an adequate amount of time and I haven't seen anything concerning. Um, but thankfully, we haven't had a problem with any of that. Um, so we're very fortunate to not have had any rabbits in quarantine develop issues. Um, but our first rabbit that we're going to start with is this little guy here. This is Obsidian. He is my newest Silver Fox Buck. He is um, another one of my rabbit's replacement. Um, if he looks horrified, it's because he is. Um, he was not a fan of the car ride. Um, and this is why we quarantine, because we don't know if anything's going to pop up. If it does, it will because of the stress. And also, the quarantine area is a nice, quiet place. So they're able to just hang out in here and calm down and relax and I am gonna try and get him out in the playpen because he did enjoy when I wasn't around he was running around like a psycho so hopefully he in the next couple of days all any rabbit I bring if they're like young like this he is a little over eight weeks old any rabbit is gonna be a little bit skittish at first he is scared but not so scared that he can't eat. I promised myself when I decided I was gonna start being more religious at up uploading um, YouTube videos that I wasn't gonna apologize for my lack of goodly videotaping, but here I am. Sorry if the video quality <laughs> is garbage. Have I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but I have this little cart. I found it alongside the road. There it is. Little cart I found alongside the road. And I use it for um, carrying the feed back and forth between 
the garage in the backyard. And I use it for when I have to get, um, what do you call it? Hmm. <laughs> oh, um, when I have to get uh, frozen water bottles to bring out, it can get kind of heavy, so I use that. First up, we're going to deal with my silver foxes, the juniors, I should say. Um, these guys are about four months old, um, and they are in my three hole stacker behind me. On the top, we have Goulash. Um, he's the one that Obsidian in the garage is going to be replacing. He has what is called splayed leg. From research I have done, yes, it can be a genetic issue, but I do not believe his is, because usually if it is genetic, from what I have been reading, it shows up either at birth or within just a few weeks, like two to three weeks after they were born. It was literally not even a week before I picked him up that he developed it. So he was like eight weeks, just a little over eight weeks old when he developed it, like seven to eight weeks. So I do not think it is genetic. Um, regardless of that, he is going to be my pet. Um, he is not showable because of his splayed leg. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean he can't produce decent showable babies. And if something happens, I do breed him and his blade leg is genetic. Um, those babies can grow up to become good meat for my freezer because I do breed rabbits for not only show, but also for meat. Underneath goulash is Sparrow. She is not pedigreed, but she has decent body type, I feel. Um, still learning in this, so I might find out that she just has crap quality. Um, she has decent silvering, and it's honestly not that hard to make a pedigree from scratch. Um, so that is what I'm going to be using her for. And then on the very bottom is Grimella, who is my friend Ashley's rabbit. Ashley is going to be helping me in this whole rabbitry thing. She is actually merging her rabbitry with mine. So one of the rabbits out here, I will make a note of which one it is when we get to him, is actually her rabbit. Um, and it's the start of her mini rex project. We are both doing mini rexes and silver foxes together. My focus with the silver foxes is obviously going to be the black color. And then I'm also going to be trying with the chocolates because those are both showable colors. But also one of my main focuses is going to be blues because they are trying to get them to be a recognized breed again. They used to be a recognized breed um, for show, but then they didn't become recognized or something. It's in the works for them to become recognized again but we need to get the numbers up there. So I'm going to help with that as well. And I already have a blue doe that is partially pedigreed, so she can help with that. Um, and then we are also going to be breeding mini Rexes. And my focus in them, you'll see, because I already have a buck, is going to be the Silver Martin variety, specifically chocolate, because I think chocolate is like the most beautiful color ever. Um, <clears throat> and the Silver Martins, Mini Rexes is a breed that is super, super popular. I feel they're not endangered or anything like the Silver Foxes are. Um, but the Silver Martin variety is not well known at all. It's not very popular. Um, but I am going to be trying to bring those numbers up as well. There is a bunch of different colors of Silver Martin. There's chocolate, there's black, there's blue, there's lilac. I am going to be starting with chocolate, see where that takes me. I might bring in the other colors of Silver Martin, but I just love the coloring and you will see the buck when we get to it. But first, let's get these guys fed.
So this is goulash. Um, he gets very into his food when he eats. This is a sparrow. Like, I think she might be a little bit long in that midsection. Um, but other than that, she I feel like she's gonna be a really good doe. And this is Grimella, and I love absolutely love the coloring on her face and on her ears that silvering is so good to my um mini rex buck if you've come from tiktok i am sure you have seen this in a lot of my videos this is my rabbit shed coming right on in here and this is java Hi, handsome mans. This is a silver martin. So mini rex. Almost said silver fox, but no. So if you can see the silver mart the silver martins honestly resemble um otters to me, but the inside of the ears are to be white, under the chin is to be white, behind the ears there. Sorry, buddy right there is to be white and then the underside is to be white or like a silvery color and the rest is just supposed to be whatever color it is whether black blue whatever um so with chocolate he is supposed to have very rich dark and it's kind of bad lighting but you can kind of see rich dark um chocolate um but he's supposed to have a nice thick dense fur that's like velvet to the touch and it is it is such nice fur and now we are actually going to go see a, another mini rex that is um my friend ashley's he is a broken black otter and i'll explain to you i guess what the coloring is for that this little guy is bandit he is a broken black otter and you may be wondering, well, he just looks like a broken black to me. Well, the otters, from what I understand, behind the ears, a little bit in the nose, I think at the tail and a little bit underneath, they'll have like this um, brown coloring. Hopefully you can see it. The lighting is awful and he won't stop moving, but they'll have right there behind the ears. He's got like brown if you now we are coming over to check on mama jewel who is our blue silver fox and her five black silver fox babies hey, jewel hi mamas hi babies you guys ready for food hi babies hi mama who's a good girl So I actually ran out of food. Like I have more, I just, in this bucket that I have here, I ran out of food. So I'm gonna give them what I have here and then I'm gonna go make up some more food so you'll be able to see what I do for that. They are all looking so stinking cute. Mama Jewel was the best mamas, yes. All right, so we are out of food in our feeding bucket. So I'm gonna come over here and grab our scoop. And in here is our pellets. So I'm gonna do two scoops. Probably shouldn't have put the bucket in here. But that's the way my mind works. So scoop one. Scoop two. This is our super mix. I've talked a lot about it on my TikTok. Um, this is based off of Tealstone Homesteads. The only thing I don't have from her variation is the um, raw unshelled pumpkin seeds. 
But in this, you can see we have sunflower seeds, old-fashioned oats, pearled barley, and then we also have golden flax seed, which is those golden little nuggets right there. Find it. So I do a nice heaping scoop right in there. There's another chunk, and then we just. Alright you guys, um, I think that is all for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if you came from TikTok so I know who's here from there. Um, I will be trying to make more of these videos most definitely. This was a lot of fun to make um, and I enjoy making the longer more in-depth videos. I also love the process of editing and all that jazz. So if you like this video, uh, like, subscribe, um, join the rabbitry. Um, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye guys.